Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, as they are loading up the salt for the upcoming winter. 631 756 1125 for the best prices in town and the best prices on salt and everything else in the tri state area. The website is omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, the Holiday stuff is coming in quick. Your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs. And for you contractors out there, uh, Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini is having an open house free event on Tuesday, October the 5th at 20, uh, I'm sorry, Tuesday, October the 5th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at 164 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. And uh, there will be... Uh, hands-on training, new products on display, installations on how to do estimating, marketing. So if this is a business you want to get into, or if this is your business, give them a call at 631-957-5106. It's absolutely free. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. Okay, we've got a week ahead. And of course, we've come off a, a really nice weekend, especially yesterday with the blue skies and sunshine. And we do have a little bit of an upper air disturbance that's moving across upstate New York. We're kind of setting up for the next cold front that comes in tomorrow. So uh, there could be just a few clouds rolling through this morning as this warm front goes on by. And in fact, you can see there are showers actually going on in upstate New York. Uh, they're moving to the east for the most part. That southern end is in northeastern Pennsylvania. I'm thinking this area is probably going to weaken up as we go through the morning. So overall today... Should be an okay day uh, with the clouds and then gradually uh, sunshine will take over uh, later this morning and this afternoon. And that's going to leave us with temperatures uh, just generally in the 70s. And maybe the warm spots could get up to the mid and upper 70s uh, for uh, late today. Uh, in the meantime, we're also looking at rainfall amounts that are really not going to be all that much this week. We only really have that one cold front coming through, and that's for late tomorrow. And you can see much of the East Coast is very dry. Some areas not getting any rain at all in the next seven days. Uh, the uh, forecast for areas across Pennsylvania, New Jersey, southern New England, down into Virginia, is basically on the order of a tenth to pot maybe as much as a quarter of an inch in some places, and that might be pushing it the way things are. Big rains out in the southern and central plains, down back through Texas and also uh, in the uh, Pacific Northwest. The atmosphere is really kind of taking on this autumn feel. The Storm Prediction Center, as far as severe weather is concerned, they've added a small area of marginal risk for the southern half of New Jersey, southernmost Pennsylvania, uh, into Maryland, Delaware, and much of the northern two-thirds of Virginia, even going into uh, eastern Virginia down along Chesapeake Bay. And this is for tomorrow uh, into early when into, into tomorrow with the cold front that's coming on through. Uh, it's probably more precautionary than anything else uh, because uh, there's not a whole lot here for this cold front to work on. So it'll just sort of it will sort of do the best it can. In the meantime, just want to take a look at Hurricane Sam. As far as the upper air is concerned, you were thinking last week with this blocky pattern setting up uh, that, that always makes forecasters a little bit nervous, but uh, the uh, good news is that the block is along the East Coast and not, say, in the Ohio Valley, because that would, have, for example, it's a, the trough in the Ohio Valley would be, be problematic. So we've got this strengthening upper low in southeastern Canada that forces a cold front through here tomorrow. It's going to mean that we will be very cool for Wednesday and Thursday and probably into Friday. And you can see how it opens up the alleyway for Sam to turn northward, passing just east of Bermuda, and then get getting kind of slingshotted toward Newfoundland uh, during next weekend. So I, I think that's pretty well a locked up scenario. And in the meantime, here in the east, we're going to be in a northwest flow most of the time uh, for the next six, six or seven days. So that for us in, in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states is good news. That uh, means we're going to stay, on, stay pretty much on the dry side and uh, we will... Uh, again, be looking at uh, rather cool conditions uh, for the middle and latter part of this week. So here's how it looks when we write it through on the surface map here. For today, today again, those showers to the north go by to the north. The winds go west-southwest. For Tuesday, we'll have 
the chance for some showers, maybe a scattered thunderstorm or two with temperatures in the 70s to around 80. And then as that front goes to the south and high pressure gets drawn down from eastern Canada, we're going to see uh, some sun and clouds for Wednesday and for Thursday. There are some showers up that scattered around in New England and the instability in the cold air. But temperatures probably Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for daytime highs won't be getting out of the 60s. And nighttime lows will probably be down in the 40s to low 50s. And by the way, that nice dry weather really kind of establishes itself up and down the eastern seaboard. This is just beautiful autumn weather. You see there, there's Sam uh, on the uh, lower right, uh, makes the appearance here on this particular view of the GFS and then passes well to the east of Bermuda. Uh, and at that point, we're almost to Saturday. So, by the way, if things go according to plan, the weekend might be pretty good. At least Saturday does. I don't know about Sunday, but Saturday looks uh, looks okay at this point. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, and their number is 631-957-5106, and the website is LIHolidayLighting.com. Dot com. Just a quick look here at uh, Hurricane Sam. It actually has weakened overnight. It's still a Category 4 hurricane, but barely. Top winds at 130 miles an hour at 15.2 and 51.4 west. Uh, staying a major hurricane all week as it continues to plod very slowly northwestward and then gradually turn northward as we get head into Friday and Saturday. Uh, it's going through one of these what we call eye wall replacement cycles. And uh, that uh, has, you see how the eye has sort of disappeared. The usually what happens when storms get very intense that the uh, the eye peaks, the, the, the storm peaks in intensity, then the thunderstorms around the eye break down and then a new eye wall forms and you could start the intensification process all over again. So it's come up uh, or in pressure the winds have come down to 130 miles an hour. It's a very, very small hurricane. We're talking about hurricane force winds only 15 miles around the center and gale force winds maybe at about 60 or 70 miles from the center. So uh, this is this is a very small, but uh, certainly as the hurricane center described it yesterday, a very ferocious storm. And fortunately, it does look like it's going to be a fish storm. We're going to have a complete look at Sam and everything else going on in the tropics, plus the week ahead in the long range tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.30 Eastern Time. So be sure to tune in to that on my YouTube channel, Joe Chaffee. Have a great day, everybody.